Très honorable chancelière, Monsieur le vice-recteur, Monsieur le doyen, collègues, professeurs, et surtout, chers diplômés de tous les cycles, nul honneur n'est plus grand que celui d'être ainsi reconnu par ses pairs, et celui-ci me va droit au cœur. Mais je souhaite avant tout féliciter chaleureusement ceux et celles dont c'est la fête aujourd'hui, dont les années d'études et de sacrifices se traduisent enfin par la remise de leur diplôme. Ceux et celles qui s'apprêtent à démarrer une nouvelle vie, une nouvelle vie qui sera certes remplie de défis, mais aussi de grandes satisfactions devant les choses qui leur seront possibles grâce justement à leurs années d'études. Les portes de l'avenir s'ouvrent devant vous, mais il faudra avoir le courage et la ténacité de franchir ces portes et d'y cheminer aussi loin que votre imagination vous le permettra. Albert Einstein once said, « Imagination is more important than knowledge. » and how I agree with him. Einstein was a prime advocate of what is most uh, un, excuse me. Einstein was a prime advocate of what I most passionately believe, the importance of curiosity-driven research. To give an example, quantum mechanics is perhaps the most profound revolution ever to occur in our understanding of nature. Yet, initially, exploring this phenomenon appeared to be just a game played by physicists strictly for the sake of advancing pure knowledge without any impact on everyday life. It took decades before quantum mechanics gave birth to the transistor. This led to electronics and society was transformed forever. We are all walking around with cell phones in our pockets, thanks to our physicists' game. Who knows what lies in the future of this information age? And the answer may lie in what's known as quantum information science, which has room for people of all disciplines. So I invite you to come and play with us. Aucun progrès technologique ne peut survenir qui ne soit précédé de découvertes fondamentales dont l'unique but est de comprendre l'univers. Tant concret, l'univers tant concret de la physique qu'abstrait des mathématiques. Mais laissez-moi vous raconter le secret de mon succès. If you want to make a difference, it is not sufficient to push forward what others have done before you. You must do things differently, paying no attention to those who may say that you are misguided. And the secret recipe holds in one word, interdisciplinarity. I had no training in quantum mechanics when I met physicist Charles Bennett while swimming at a beach in Puerto Rico 35 years ago. But I had training in computer science and in cryptography. This meeting with Bennett not only, was not only of two people, but of two disciplines, and it gave rise to quantum cryptography thus opening entirely new vistas for the confidentiality of communication. And neither of us could have done it alone. L'interdisciplinarité offre une occasion en or de penser hors de la boîte. Mon ignorance de la physique quantique conventionnelle, loin d'être un handicap, est au contraire ce qui me permet de voir, avec mes yeux et mes outils d'informaticien, ce qui est invisible pour un physicien de carrière. Je suis tellement convaincu de mon propos que j'ai créé il y a quelques années un prix de doctorat du CRSNG pour la recherche indisciplinaire. Let me tell you a story. Un physicien appelé Steven Wiesner a été le premier à penser à la possibilité d'utiliser les étranges propriétés de la mécanique quantique pour traiter l'information d'une façon qui serait rigoureusement impossible dans le monde classique d'Isaac Newton et d'Albert Einstein. Wiesner's inventions were revolutionary but it seemed so crazy that people did not pay attention to them. In 1970, his paper was rejected by a well-respected journal. Hélas, il n'a pas jugé bon de poursuivre dans cette direction, et ses idées seraient mortes aujourd'hui s'il n'avait pas parlé à une personne, ce même Charles Bennett, que j'ai mentionné plus tôt. And because Wiesner talked to Charles Bennett about his ideas, um, 
Even though Wiesner had given up on them, Bennett did not. And Bennett understood the potential of the ideas of his friend, and he talked about it to people around him, but still nobody paid attention. This continued for nearly 10 years, until that fateful day when a perfect stranger, this is a true story, when a perfect stranger swam up, swam up to me in the ocean near San Juan, Puerto Rico, and without any provocation on my part, he said that he knew how to use quantum mechanics to make banknotes that would be impossible to counterfeit. Believe me, this was a life-changing experience. Uh, quantum cryptography was born of this meeting, and later quantum teleportation. And a new discipline known as quantum information science had been created in which thousands of people work now. And this is all because someone had an idea, Wiesner, and someone else, Bennett, kept on talking about it and did not give up. And the main lessons to be learned here are, don't be afraid to have ideas that may appear crazy at first. Don't let initial rejection of your ideas discourage you. On the contrary, talk about them, and also talk about your friends' crazy ideas. But most of all, keep an open mind when you encounter an idea radically different from anything you had seen before. In short, think outside the box. J'ai envie de vous raconter une autre histoire qui n'est pas ici, sur, sur ma feuille. Um, let me tell you another story, which does not concern me directly. This is a story of Raph Merkel. Raph Merkel um, was a student uh, at the University of California in Berkeley. And he was taking a course on information security. That was in 1974. And he had to write a project for this class. And that's when he invented what has become known today as public key cryptography. Sorry for the jargon, but uh, let me just tell you, this is one of the most important inventions in the history of cryptography. But his professor did not understand. He, and he, 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 he dropped the class at some point. But he did, not, he did not drop the idea, kept working on it, and he submitted to the most important journal in computer science, which rejected it. Um, or more precisely, the, the first submission of this paper was received with a um, referee report, and that's, that, that's the point I'm getting at. This report, here's what was written in the report, one sentence of it. I am sorry that this report was written to the editor, not to the author. So, uh, I am sorry to have to inform you that the paper is not in the mainstream of present cryptographic thinking. And that's why it was rejected, when, of course, it was the precise reason why it should be accepted. This guy had, take, had thought entirely outside the box, had invented an entire new subfield of cryptography, but because he was there before anybody else, it was not understood and rejected. He kept fighting on, he did not give up, and it became accepted at the end, was published, and the story has a good ending. So again, don't give up. So curiosity and imagination are at the heart of everything. Yeah. Talk to people in other disciplines about your ideas and find out what they are doing. This goes both ways, talk and listen. Bring in your different and unique bag of tools which could make you the only person able to see an entirely new approach to an old problem. And don't be shy about it. Get out there and play. And who knows, maybe in a few decades, you will have invented a new, a new discipline and it will be you here on this stage to receive a honorary doctorate. And when that happens, I hope you will convey the good news to me, perhaps using teleportation. <laughs> Bien sûr, aucun succès ne vient seul. Je suis profondément reconnaissant à mes collègues et mes étudiants pour tout ce que nous avons accompli ensemble. Parlant de mes étudiants, un de mes plus grands sujets de fierté dans le monde académique, c'est que plus qu'une vingtaine de mes anciens étudiants et étudiantes sont maintenant professeurs dans des universités un peu partout dans le monde, Et il y en a même une ici, Anne Broadbent, nouvellement professeur à l'Université d'Ottawa, était en fait la meilleure étudiante qui a eu son doctorat sous ma direction dans ma carrière. 
Et elle était valedictorian, euh, majeur de promotion, je devrais dire, euh, lors de son doctorat. Donc, n'oubliez jamais que le monde a besoin de vous. Vous avez les compétences de répondre à l'appel, as long as you don't give up. When scientists in Canada engage in pure research, fundamental research, curiosity-driven research, Canada profits, and so does the world. Long live scientific inquiry. Merci de tout cœur.